guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. guys welcome this is sherry here so this is going to be a twin flame reading uh for june the 17th until the 28th my birthday is on the 27th so this will be a special reading all right so I've, i got my two decks here let's give them a quick shuffle so actually came to a major realization um, in terms of my subs and view count. It was revealed that I um, lost my tags along the way. So for the past two months, I haven't had any tags accompanying my videos. So that makes a huge, huge difference. And uh, to me, you know, it was a relief to find that out, but at the same time, I shouldn't be attached to anything, right? The, the success of this channel, um, you know, I shouldn't be uh, see myself reflected in the channel because this channel has nothing to do with me um, personally, right? And so the channel fluctuates and you know that's just the way things go so this is actually the high priestess card using your intuition or psychic ability um, to discover those deep truths and that's exactly what I did which actually goes along with the last twin flame reading because it, you know all will be revealed is the title that I chose all right, so let's pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the position. So we'll start with the feminine side. And the masculine. Okay, and so for the union energy, we'll use romantic, what is this, oh, why do I always forget, um, Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. All right, so let's begin. So the overall energy, very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. So this card is asking you to make a decision. You know, you're, you're afraid to give your heart, but it could also mean that something's gonna happen very soon. So I'll just read the highlights. So what do you want? This card demands that you ask this question um, and decide, send that vibration out into the universe. And as soon as you are perfectly straightforward with what it is that you desire, it comes to you. So be clear and honest with yourself and formulate your request with faith and optimism. Trust your feelings and make decisions your, for yourself and what's best for you. Okay, the overall energy, very soon, make a decision. So something may come to light or, you know, you will make a decision. Um, and remember, oh, actually you guys won't be seeing this, but um, for the mid-month energy reading, the feminine side was conflicted and needed to make a decision in order to open up her heart. So, you know, that energy may be coming from the feminine mostly. All right, so let's begin with the feminine side here. We got the chariot in the past. So this is pursuing things that make you emotionally 
fulfilled, um, but also, you know, this is control, directed energy towards your target, overcoming challenges, obstacles. In the mid-month energy reading, the feminine had the eight of wands in her emotional space, so there was this uplifting, uh, vibrant energy emotionally, um, and her soul was the ten of cups. So for the um, mid-month energy reading, this that's for the Patreons only. Uh, so I won't re be releasing that video to the public, but I'll mention it once in a while. Um, yeah, so taking control of her life, pursuing things that make her happy. Going surfing even. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of ironic. Ah, oh, geez. That fell right under... I'm just going to have to pause it for one second. Sorry, guys. Yeah, actually, I went to the beach yesterday. And uh, I live on the West Coast, so surfing is a big thing here. And um, it, it's a scorcher right now. It is so hot. Um, and so it's a very busy weekend for surfers. A lot of people coming in from out of town and stuff. And it's just really great to be on the beach and running into people that I know. And we actually moved... Um, a little bit more inland on on the island uh, so most of my friends are in Tofino and Eucalypt so it was really nice to run into some people that I hadn't seen for a long time I haven't been out that way for about a, a, a year so yeah surfing crazy synchronicity for me anyway again I'm not trying to make this about myself um, I just kind of wanted to point that out all right for the masculine side we have wow heart chakra his, he's feeling love. He's an open vessel, giving, receiving love. Um, yeah, what more can I really say about that? So maybe I'll just pull an additional card here. What the heck? Oh, okay, that one. Supportive people. So he's making connections. He's feeling supported. He, you know either by his friends, family, um, but this reading is a twin flame connection, so the feminine, um, you know, he feels that way towards her, mostly, I guess. Okay, so in the present position for the feminine, ten of pentacles. In the mid-month, um, the feminine had the ten of cups and the ten of swords in the uh, the Ten of Swords was in the mental space, so a lot of tens, a lot of endings, feeling completed. All right, now, so the Ten of Pentacles is all about the 3D reality, a long-term goal realized, or just feeling very comfortable and provided for and successful within our own right. So, she feels achieved. In, in the physical and in the present. You know, she went after that thing that made her happy. She, you know, she pursued the things that made her come alive, um, took control of her life, and now she's seeing the fruits of her labor. The masculine present position, three of swords, heartbreak. Wow. So we got from, we, we're going from that heart chakra to, to a broken heart. And if I remember correctly, didn't we see that in the June energy reading where the masculine gave his heart and ended up having it broken and possibly from a karmic relationship? Um, now, in the mid-month, the masculine had, um, oh gosh, it just slipped my mind, but the Three of Swords, you know, it's, it's a broken heart. It's feeling betrayed. This is a mental card, so it needs to be healed. Okay. Hopefully that thought will come back. Sorry. Okay. So moving on to the near future for the feminine. Seven of Wands. So this is a very, you know, defensive pose, uh, but it's also a powerful uh, pose. It's like speaking up for yourself. Not backing down, not surrendering, not giving up, but holding your ground. So the feminine may 
you know, may need to express herself or, or hold her stance for whatever reason. So let's just pull a little additional card for that. What do you mean by the seven of wands? Laziness. Laziness. Um, maybe accusing somebody of being lazy. Um, maybe the feminine has been withdrawn from the connection. So this could be her energy of being lazy and then finally, finally coming out of the darkness, expressing herself finding courage and power to express herself. Very soon, remember, it's all about making a decision. So there's this feeling that the feminine feels ready or accomplished. She had to work on herself first. And this could be possibly that that decision is made, whatever it is. The sun, near future, so everything works out after all. The most positive card, yang energy as well, leadership, um, not really leadership actually. Um, this card more has to do with new beginnings, feeling free, innocent, um, celebrating life. So it may be good news. All right, so let's leave the final outcome for later. Uh, let's see what the feminine is bringing into the union. Transformation, death card. So, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of tans on the feminine side. So, she's transitioning into a more beautiful um, new beginning, right? She's letting go of the past. She's cutting away the rot, the decay, the things that no longer serve her. She had the Ten of Swords in the mental space, but she also had the Two of Swords in the physical, like, you know, and then the Four of Swords in the spiritual. So there is a lot happening with the feminine in the mental. And I believe it's all that stuff that she's finally cutting away and allowing herself to open up like a butterfly, rising from the chrysalis, being reborn. The masculine, no way. So the masculine actually got this card in the physical space for the mid-month. Yang energy, the divine masculine, authentic. Um, the pr protector, the provider, the, you know, what I feel here, since it's the energy he's bringing into the union, it's unconditional divine love. Okay, so what is the foundation? Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So this is getting away uh, to be alone, um, to connect. So it says, I'm just going to read the highlights. So yeah, time alone together. Reignite the spark. The honeymoon period. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to get away to nurture your romantic love. So as a foundation, there's this desire to come together to show each other how much you love each other right and maybe that's why we see that emotional movement and control on the feminine side and the heart chakra on the masculine you know even though his heart is broken in the present he's still the, the divine masculine in terms of the union so this could be the masculine cutting away that karmic codependency oh that's what i wanted to say in the mid-month no Oh my gosh. For the overall message from the universe, the card was codependency. So maybe this is the masculine cutting away those codependent relationships, especially as a divine. He 
He wants to feel true love. Crowning. True love. Oh my God. This is a romance of the lifetime. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Um, so yeah, you pull this card because true and lasting love is here for you. So this card validates that the relationship is in, of a divine nature. You both have the ability to overcome issues if you express your feelings. So do just that genuine love. It is, you both feel that this connection is true love. The masculine desires it, knows it as well. But again, there's a sense of possibly a karmic energy uh, or he's waiting for the feminine to make a decision. But at the heart space, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So, you know, this really goes along with codependent, or not, sorry, uh, it's like addictions, uh, unconscious behaviors uh, that all stem from your family, right? You're conditioned to behave a certain way and you don't realize it. The answer to your prayers are about, um, about your love life are based on feelings about your mother and father. So you need to release old anger. Um, your choices are being influenced by this, you know, holding on to old anger. So forgiveness is essential. Forgive, forgiving someone doesn't mean you need to endorse their behavior, right? It's a form of detoxification. I'm no longer willing to carry toxic energy within my mind and body. So in the heart space, there is healing. Um, you know, the death card is putting an end, cutting away a death to those negative thoughts, you know, detoxifying. We need that. We see that need in the Three of Swords as well. Okay, so final outcome for the feminine. Crown chakra. Yes, yes, yes. Illumination. Pure consciousness. Connection with the divine. Oh, yes, ladies. Beautiful. You return to that pure state of consciousness because you know it's true love. Masculine. Throat chakra. So two chakras activated on the masculine side the seventh chakra activated on the feminine. So he will express himself. He will say what's on his mind. He's come to a realization of truth. The mid-month energy reading the overall card was hearing the calling of your soulmate. The masculine can hear it hear his heart and hear the feminine in his heart but like I said um, there is possibly an addiction because that turned up with the codependent card as well right this is all about um, the inability to let go of something and the feminine is is doing that She's transforming herself, letting go of the past, finding her own strength. And yeah, nothing but positive things will be happening this week. All right, so let's pull two final cards. 
And I think I'm going to use something different. I haven't used the good tarot for a while, so let's do that. So this is Call It Baron Reed. Wisdom of the Oracles, Dorian Virtue. Okay, one card for the feminine. King of Earth. And for the masculine, Page of Earth. Interesting. So the Page of Earth usually represents, you know, a new adventure, a new start. Uh, the King of Earth is somebody who is very successful. You can see that energy definitely over here. Hold on a minute. Sorry. Okay. Page of Earth. So since the page showed up first, let's read that one. So the masculine, your message from the universe. Commitment to prosperity, first signs of tangible success, undeniable evidence that hard work will pay off, dreams grounded in reality, start of a new project. Now, for the mid-month energy reading, the masculine had the three of pentacles in his emotional space. So what I see here is, you know, that sense of foundation, groundedness, um, feeling that, you know, that Ten of pen Pentacles is tangible, it's, a, it's there, you know, and he is the Yang twice so far, right, here and here, and the Yang would be feeling the unconditional love of the heart chakra as well. Um, okay, so everything starts with a plan, and I am beginning to see results generate pr prosperity. I am a doer and I get to make my own decisions. I have the ability to track what I need. Okay, so the Yang or the Emperor is somebody who makes decisions, who looks long term, wants to create this, you know, supportive, um, safe, secure space for his family and that's very similar to the king of pentacles as well but the the this masculine energy encompasses all elements in one okay so the king of pentacles for the feminine enterprising philanthropy Ability to attract abundant wealth, magnanimous, conscious manifesting, a reliable leader. I have trust and faith in the invisible and know it will manifest in the realm of form uh, the way I need it to. Opportunity can be found anywhere and everywhere. Because I am a competent and committed, I am ready for abundance to manifest now in a world of conditions in and a form that is aligned with my higher good. I manifest all that I desire, consciously aware of the need to stay focused and grounded in the everyday work required. Um, you know, I see this focus, this concentration control for, you know, to get that long-term goal. I feel that you've already achieved that. The message from the universe is, you know, to really realize that feminine that you have all that you need um, you are successful powerful you can achieve whatever you desire and you desire true love and I feel that that will be manifested in your life all right so I do help this I hope this helps uh, so please leave a message, uh, comment below, I mean, um, subscribe, uh, like, and share. All right, I will see you next week, guys. Cheers.